Hello everyone, it's your favorite sort of warning with your daily warning. Dungeons and Dumbasses, trigger and content warning. This episode may contain adult themes and not intended for anyone under the age of 18. Themes may contain sex, PTSD, traumas, racial injustice, etc. Viewer discretion is advised. And remember, I warned you! I oh I what the All right, no one's on screen and we're here. Well, <laughs> slightly, slightly here. Well, at least Why on my side gone? we're here. Why is everyone gone? Huh? Is your screen black? No, like there's no NPC showing for some reason. There are no there NPCs. There shouldn't be an NPC showing. It's just all of you in a box. Yeah. No, yeah, no, on my on my OBS. Oh. I'm in a glass cage of emotion. Oh, well, she's. What is going I'm on? Put all of you in this nice little corner here. What is. Wait, what is going on? Oh, puppy aggro! Run, run, oh, run, 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 run. Making Desi have the zoomies. Oh, <laughs> <God. laughs> my goodness. Because that is, is just this so movie. weird right now. So, oh, right. Koa. Yes. For com for breaking the monologue last time, you get a card. I get a card. <laughs> you're rewarded. Yeah, I think you're gonna need it. It's gonna be rewarded. Oh, yeah, oh, there's that too. God. You're gonna need it. <laughs> Make sure it's not a play immediately. Oh wait, one second. Oh my god, I'm like doing multiple things right now. I'm so sorry. Oh. Uh. It doesn't say play immediately. Arden wants to seal this card from your hand. <laughs> no. It's not a play immediate. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. We're also all muted. Okay, there we go. Now they can hear us. I have so Yay. much that I'm going to need to edit out. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, keep it in. Keep it for in. For hilarity's sake, at least for... Or keep it in, like, uh... What is it? The background shenanigans? No, no. Behind the have, scenes. I'm gonna have to cut it out. The oh. BRB means... Fuck! What the fuck? I'm gonna have. Anyway, to... hello everyone. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, shall we have our announcer, announcer voices say their announcements? Uh, n no. That being the comfort and the Desi. Well, uh, the well, comfort. I'm, I'm just. I'm just. Comfort. Yeah. What did I do? Aren't you streaming this? <laughs> I mean, what? Hi. Fuck. What? <laughs> We don't, we don't normally say anything in the beginning. We just go straight into it. <laughs> that's true. That, that that's what, we only do that on on when I when I was streaming it. Oh, oh. well, let, let's Wrong get streamer. Into, then let's get into the where we last left off. Ganesh, you wrote a bunch of things. Go for it. So we interviewed the em emperor who can't remember anything before the age of the sages five hundred years ago. That was weird. Emperor genocides the humans because the humans created the temples and were worshipping gods. Koa manifests a vision of humans being routed. The emperor personally killed Harima. That was weird. Super. Uh, we warn the emperor of the Phyrexians, and then he skedaddles. Uh, uh, emperor gives us a blessing to go to the heart of Tai Nabu, which was in... 
hindsight, very, I don't know. Arden's been shepherding us down this path for uh, a while now. <laughs> anyway, start walking down the tunnel with dancing lights. Tunnel gets warmer with megaflora. Giant glowing forest reveals itself. We fall down an and up bush by a writhing floor with ominous dancing lights. After discovering that the floor is out to get us, Ganesh gets the party on Pteranodons. Koa then scans Siru's mind and visualizes the heart of Tainabu and teleports us there. Thereby skipping a gigantic portion of lore for the kobold. Hey, 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 you didn't, you didn't say we couldn't teleport. You got a fucking card. You can now, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I got a card. I you got can cards. now take it. You can now take I, it. I take it. Oh my god. Um. So like, I was. I don't remember any of this. <laughs> you don't no, remember no, no, half, no. The, half the half the oh stuff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so glad. Like I remember huh. when Ganesh started taking notes. That and then that... I. Oh, sorry. That was at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm really disappointed. Oh, apparently the muscle relaxers knocked me out more than I thought they did. Mm. Apparently. Apparently. Yeah. apparently. Proserpia so has had back. Uh, she 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 munched her back mm. and has been on a uh, uh, pills for it for the last three your, weeks. Your back, she's on my the shoulder. Yeah, your yeah. back, yeah. my shoulder. Continuing on so we can get this going. Uh, uh, Desi with Proserpia. Desi with Proserpia in tow. Core grapples over a lake of acid. And then taunts some nasty elementals. Taunts. Su- taunts. <laughs> I heard mm-hmm. taunts. <laughs> I might have said that. Moving forward. I might have. <laughs> Ganesh summons Pteranodons under the rest of the party. The Air Force starts the bombardment with Naya's guiding bolt. A gravity sinkhole pulls the elementals together. Elementals start regenerating, and w- and one grabs Desi with a vine that travels through the earth. Naya, as part of air support, fireballs the group of el- elementals and kills one of them. Once we kill the elementals, Arden betrays us at the hands of Floro. First, but inevitable betrayal. Uh-huh. Floro takes the heart and plane walks really? out of here. For anyone who... Well, I, w- I, w- I would like to add to that. Floro then also, before Floro teleports away, he um, tells us that he put a Gius on... He put a very nasty Gius on Arnon. He learned well, from a certain that. elder dragon. Not just he that. Put, he put gay. Yeah, but he put a Gius on Arnon by using a Johnny. Yes. Yep. As the transportation wow. vehicle for that he is. Yeah. Um, Desi trying to protect everyone and trying to wake Arden up as he sees that Arden is hurting himself trying to break the gears and um you know potentially turning himself to ash. Um <laughs> takes reluctantly and sadly puts his uh his 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 weapon against Arden's belly and shoots Arden Arden uh causing da- a lot of damage uh and on a uh, unable to save Arden um does he gets thrown back by by Arden's other gloved hand uh which held a shocking grasp and uh and and uh Desi's now broken and and sad and uh now today Desi gets to uh deal with consequences from Oops, season that goes all the way to se- from season one actually since before that but we're we're about to get into that yeah. anyway uh-huh. <laughs> So we find ourselves in a box of fuck you. Everyone, welcome so to the trade. Right after the heart of uh, Tainabu was taken, the barrier that guarded what was inside pretty much crumbles partially. 
a dark mist comes through, purple eyes open up, and as Arden is ready to pretty much dust everyone using the Gauntlet of the Five Suns, everyone's pulled into what essentially looks like a room with bunk beds, dressers with mirrors covered by blankets, and a, and a balcony to one side that go, leads out to an open night sky. Outside one of the doors is heard the sound of children's laughter. I just have to see. Is there more to say? Well, is somebody give me... Actually, all of you, give me a perception roll. Okay, Only Desi. y'all. Which means, Desi, Colgan's not here. No, I understand. Uh, I, I wouldn't even notice that Colgan's not here. That's the thing. Yeah. Perception. I wouldn't even notice. Do that I have any of my dudes with me? Nope. Do okay. I have advantage on this? If am I looking? No, I'm the. I'm not looking at something specific. This is just general, right? Perception, right? Yeah, perception. Okay. Please. Oh, we're. Oh my god, this is so slow. Ugh. Ooh. I see all in my depressed state. <laughs> So that's a 22, a 16, a 22. Sorry, 22 11, which is on point. Yeah, yeah and uh, <laughs> a 17. 22. I mean, I will say this. Um, can I ask you to take the 9? You can ask me to take the 9. You were rolling at disadvantage for being mentally mentally scarred. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. I noticed that the okay. kids are sus, and I co one of them in the face. <laughs> Uh, Desi, Desi, just, uh, That's all mind play. De- De- Desi just, Desi just basically, um, will be, in, go into one of the bunk beds and just kind of curl up and just want to be away from everybody. So, um, Desi, even for your nine, the bunk bed you crawl up on top of already has a, Someone sitting there under the covers, giggling to cuddle. themselves. Cuddle, ah! cuddle. Wait. This cuddle session. <laughs> no, D- D- does he just then D- D- does he just walks into goes to a corner, and just give me a dex roll, please. A dex uh. roll. <laughs> yep, just straight up dexterity. Okay, dex, not dex save, just dex. Okay, just dex. That would be an eighteen. At disadvantage, that is the a 10. ten. Okay, ten. So, your tail accidentally hooks on the covers, and Desi, you pull off, revealing a very small leopard child. Oh my god. Wait, you're using that art? Oh my mm-hmm. god. No. <laughs> not not, not that bigger? character. Him. Not that character. Oh. 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 Yeah, that's really cute. I'm going to pull that. It. Well, well, we'll find is out. It, we'll find out. I think I know who it is. Okay. I'm a. He looks. Uh, yeah. He looks a bit all of you with these bright blue eyes. It goes, <gasps> friends. Friends? Is that what he said? Yeah, I don't have many friends around here. Oh. Naya just takes a couple of steps closer, and she just looks at him and Arden. I told you my name. Where? It's. Yeah. Where? What it's the? a long, it's a long story. Where where are we? <laughs> um, you're in well the orphanage bedroom. Why kind is of he weird tiny? For adults. Why is he tiny? I am ten. Actually, I'm tall. I'm five. Yes. Cora, Cora, yes. Cora, uh, just hey, just no. calm down. Just and forgive me, Desi, but where is this? So, Arden, where is this orphanage? Um, I think that they they called this. Oh, I don't remember the name of the city. They always put some weird things, and I was too busy, too engrossed in my project. Here, look. He holds up this little ball with clicking gears and mechanical devices with tiny little springs. Each time, winding up this big spring, and as you see, the big screen unlatches, which causes the gears to spin again. Um, uh, are you? Take a step Sorry. Okay. See? Ready, huh? Uh, y- yeah. Very How? pretty. 
how old are you? I, I said five. Said, I'm five. What, five. How much do you do you remember what it was like to be four? Uh, kinda. I mean, I've been in the orphanage a while. I was like, I think I came here when I was three. Who brought yeah. you here? Eh, parents. They want me to get into the school. Are you from the school? Oh, oh, that means I got more things to show you. Um, um, right. Yeah, spell, show us. Spell, yeah. Spell. We're, we're he, like, from a school. I, he's all hyper. He's du He digs under the bed and pulls out a small book. Okay, so I've been studying this one really hard, and I think I can do it. It's, he crunches his face, he holds out his hands, and little dancing lights come from his from his fingertips. Whoa! See? See? I'm only five, and I can already do this spell. That's awesome. I can't do that at all. I no, it just looks on and smiles. I cast dancing lights with him. You see little runic sim letters just float from my fingers, circle around, and then go to his dancing lights. <laughs> Pretty cool. Well, oh, that's cool. I can't make them dance like that yet. You will one day. <laughs> uh, one day. One day. Uh, where are we? What? I think, I think, Kara, the more prudent question is, when are we? I've got an answer to that, but it's really depressing. So I'm gonna uh, okay. just, I'm Des Desi, Desi just Desi just looks up and just says, "We're we're we're in his childhood." What are we in his memory, or are we literally here? I I don't know. I can't answer that. I okay. I go to Desi and I hug him. <laughs> I put my arms around him. I I don't suppose a hug is. I'm going to try something to see if it is a memory. Okay. Uh, how long has it been since we've been like? How long has it been since we've been in here? Literally, you guys got here before Arden started speaking. So, ten seconds or so. E. Uh, oh, thirty so seconds. We've been, we've, been, we've been arping for more than that. True. I want to see. Give me, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm gonna cast this on myself. So is this, this is this the one that vanishes? Or throw, can, can you please say what you cast on yourself? Because... I cast temporal shunt. Thank you. Your target, your, the triggering creature, which must succeed on wisdom save at the start of the next, or is it the one that teleports me back a few seconds? Are you yeah. casting it on yourself? Yeah, I want to see if I can go back for like how far back I can go. Well, if you do that, if you're gonna time. leave us alone. <laughs> I don't know. I'll reappear later, like after a few seconds. I just okay. want to see if it's a memory or if we actually went back in time. Awesome. Uh, Would this well, shoot me forward? Well, this no. is fun. Time. It's gonna be fun for you. Yep. You see, you blip out of existence and blip back and don't ever remember casting the spell. Okay, I'm gonna try something real quick. No, no Margaret doesn't do remember it. you casting the spell or being affected by it. Okay. As much as I'd like to see you, you know, blast all your <laughs> spell slots out of existence, don't do it. What are spell slots? Great. This is, fan <laughs> this is a fantastic <laughs> development. I think he means you're wasting your mana on a spell that's not even going to work. I, I mean, I thought, like, I, I, can't, I have time abilities. Why can't I use it here? I mean, you're using it on yourself. That's a really dumb idea. Did I? I mean, it, it, we thought we... Uh, we don't know if this is a memory or we went back in time or something. Memory? Uh, Ar Arden, uh, I, sent you, I sent you a message. Uh, now I will walk to the balcony and look out to try and see where we are. What you see outside is a vast city made out of between stonework and crystal work. It is night, so nobody's out, but there are ma mage lights adorning the streets. You do find, however, as you reach the balcony, you can't seem to open the door. Um, uh, everyone, I, I know where we are. Where are we? <sighs> because of what 
I asked Jace to do. I have some of Arden's memories in my head. And this is Julinar's orphanage. Are we in your memory or are we in are we in um our <sighs> captain's memory? We're 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 in if this is a memory and not a time spell, which obviously Nope, not a time spell. So this is a memory. Then Captain or yours? This this would be odd. We don't where we can't know for sure. But I know, I know. No, no, no. I mean, we can't know for sure whether or not this is just a memory or whether we really if, have traveled. If this is a time travel, then 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 Koa's spell earlier would have worked. We are in a memory. Wait a minute. Yours or it, Captain's? I'm trying to answer that, but everyone else keeps asking questions. I have one more question, Desi, and this is kind of a time critical one. Isn't Arden, uh, isn't our captain out there dying? I don't know. Wait, you have a dying friend? I, Can I, I help? Uh, Slightly. Little. I, 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 he, he hops down, he reaches under his bed again and pulls out a big old book that says Medical Journal. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. so I normally um, hate children. This is so cute. Um, he's a little far away for you, kiddo. Uh, oh. Oh. That's sad. Yeah. He, uh, Desi just puts his, uh, his, his hand on the wall and just just kind of pets in and be like, <sighs> Oh, wait a minute. You tried to save us, didn't you, you bastard? We're, we're in the city of Kilan, on the plain of Lecto. But not oh. there, exactly. Hey, Ganesh. Yeah. Um, because of your earlier perception roll, you do notice that to your right, and by your right, I mean this wall up here. Up wall? Okay. The, the one that does these padding, yeah. A blood message scrawls across it. Ah. And it says, confront who you are. Yay. Uh, he's just, <laughs> Arda is too busy, engrossed in his book. He's flipping through pages. Well, I mean, I can at least help diagnose it. What was the wound? Uh... Gunshot to the stomach. Ooh. A oh, magical okay. gunshot to the stomach. Magical? Was it yeah. necrotic? No. Uh, mm. ah, well, then he'll he'll be fine as long as you get some gauze on it. And maybe some pressure to the wound. Stop the bleeding. Uh, the medical attention. <laughs> who literal medical attention. attention. <laughs> yeah. Wait, um, is there? There's a, there's a door here, right? But we can't, we can't use it. It doesn't work. The door is over here. Oh. And okay. there's a balcony over here. Okay. I take out my key. All right. And I put it in the lock to see if it works. You put the key in the lock. You and attempt I... to turn the handle. It doesn't turn. Mm, in fact, not... no matter how much pressure you put on it, the handle just does not turn. Ah, well... Arden, do you know a way that the adults come in and out of here? Oh, the, they put magic locks on the on the windows so people can't get in or out. What's out there? It, it, you know, just people. You don't. You literally want a, adults walking into kids' rooms? You know, present company notwithstanding. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Um, <laughs> <they're>... <laughs> now, okay. How would you get out? Are you allowed out of here? I I don't need to go out. I have my books. Are your friends? Do you have friends here? Eh. Do you, do, are there other people that you, other kids that you spend time with or live with? I mean, yeah, during the daytime, but they're all dinner right now. Why are you locked in your room? I'm not locked. Y'all just what? appeared randomly. Oh, why is there skeletons on the floor? 
That's not there. That's not there. <laughs> that was I not see it in, visually. That was not in the description of the room. I, I know, I just noticed it, though. Comfy, breaking character at the moment. Remember earlier when I said the room isn't exactly how it's designed because the DM forgot to punch that in it? Yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just pulling your, I'm pulling your, I'm pulling your leash. Yeah, those are the me, skeletons from your closet. That's what they are. The I see. Can we try the? Can we try the door? You may. It's not. No, going give me a strength roll. To work. Oh, Naya. this is. It's definitely not going to work if I have to roll strength. <laughs> uh, fuck it, can, I'll do it. Naya, move I, over. Wait. What? Well, yeah. I was going to give don't, you something. You don't even. You don't even cause it to go click. <laughs> I haven't rolled for strength yet. <laughs> yeah, that was Wait. Naya's attempt. Oh, oh my god, negative one. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I can recover this or later. I'm just gonna. While you rolled, rolled it. Ah, no, I can't do it. You rolled. I, I yeah. could have let you. Okay. The, well, you, you rolled the, the same. Similar, and not strength. Similarly to the balcony oh. door, the the handle just does not budge. So do it. Can Three. I still? So, I'm so excited. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> I, I don't cast that then. I, I want to hit the right button. <laughs> does, he, does, he, do, does he looks to the wall and just says, Are you are you, are you being serious? Are you, you really wanting me right now? Hey, Arden, do you see anything on the wall? Oh, the, the spread of raspberry jam? No, I tend to ignore those. Oh, what, is, what does it uh, usually what, what? say for you? Yeah, same message over and over. I don't need to listen to it. He he doesn't seem to be smiling until he like shakes his head. He's like, "Oh, I know. Let's play catch." He dives under his bed again, pulls out pulls out just a small red ball. What does it? What does the 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 word say again? Confront who you are. Confront who you are. Yeah. Says he's not wanting to do this right now. <laughs> I'm a. I'm gonna. I mean. I mean. It's. I wonder. I are, are we supposed to confront? Are you supposed to do it? Bethany, what? Play catch? Yeah, sure. Why not? Throw the ball. I'll catch it. it you guys costs. figure it out. I'm taking a rest. <laughs> he, I throws catch. A ball, he throws a ball back and forth between Koa. Arden? Do you ever get sad being alone at the orphanage? No, why? I was cur- I I'm I'm just curious how your life is here. It's it's a life. I'm learning. I'm going to be in a school. I'm going to be the world's first. Well, I don't know what to call it yet, but I mean, look, I made this. It, he he grabs the ball and then tosses the gear ball by mistake to Koa. He throws the what to Koa? The gear ball. Oh. The ball this that's made out of gears dot. that is constantly clicking. This red dot going back and forth. Arden, what's it, your gear ball do? It, it it just keeps moving. It never stops. Oh. It, it has no need to stop. That's cool. Because so, of the gears or because of the mana you put in it? it both? That's it, cool. The gears, I had to give some motion to start it, but then after that happened, the, the gears pull the string, the spring down, the spring pushes up, and it makes the gears move again. D- does, mm. does he, uh, sits next to, sits next to Arden? Called, um, y- it's called a y- perpetual motion machine or artifice, depending what, on what, who you ask. What you're, what artifice! You're, what, what you're That's talk- a cool name for it! Yes, uh, what, what you're coming up with and learning is uh, called artificing. Really? Oh, oh yeah. And I, I well, it's can... more interesting than studying the magic. I, I will tell you this. I've got a really good feeling you're going to be a really great artificer. Oh? The best. Yeah. You've got... What do I do exactly? You, you've, got, you've got talent. You've got talent and a good eye for... Uh, Potential. You need to it, keep honing your skills. His eyes, like, staring at Dizzy, his eyes open wide. Cool. And Dizzy, you notice immediately the irises going from white to 
black to green to red to blue, and all just swirl together, and he flicks his ears. Huh. You shot me. Oh! I'm holding the ball now. That, after hearing does, he, that. does he just looks down and just lets out a sigh and he's like, I, I tried to save you. Okay, I wouldn't make any friends that wouldn't be able to shoot me. <laughs> he yes. just waves his hands to go again. Toss me the ball. Oh, okay. Do you actually see this red dot that I move? Yes. <laughs> but, so, yeah. uh, Ganesh asks um, Arden in Sylvan, do you speak Sylvan? That's some pretty bird noises you just made. Oh. Jesse, who has a babble fish in his ear, or whatever the fuck we were calling them. No, it was they were called babble babble earrings. Babble earrings. Yeah. So I start speaking Sylvan to the group. Yeah. We gotta we gotta therapize the kid. That's what the Raspberry Jam wants us to do. Uh, are you sure that, that that's not something that we have to do ourselves? Is that not no, us? no, the raspberry jam is for is has been on the has been on captain's wall for a while in this memory. It's for it's for the captain. We're in his memories. We got to therapize him. And I don't know how it's going to fix it. But if we're just in a memory, we're one snap away from being. Uh, five sons punched into oblivion. So I'm down for staying here as long as possible. Um, uh, Arden, how good is your Leone? He like he listens uh, as you're asking him, and he's like, "I mean, aren't all of us speaking Leone?" <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, they. Some of us learned by listening to me, but uh, it's not really their native tongue. I can do it. Oh, that's weird. No, you can't. No, you can't. I'm speaking Leonin. That is this not... is how they sound like. Ah, oh, goodness. I... Look, I'm Desi. Howdy, 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 howdy. It <laughs> starts just laughing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's almost on point, Desi. See, I got it correct. <laughs> I'm going to get in the way of the ball from, I'm going to catch it. And I'm going to look at Arden into his deep, colorful eyes. Arden. The same thing, you, what you see is the spiral of the rainbow again as well. And Arden goes, huh, you're very sad, aren't you? I am, because Arden, you think it's your fault. All of it. You think it's all your fault. And we don't hey, have any animosity towards you. We love you. When you're older, you'll get to meet people over time. And they'll show their love for you. And you'll know how to love them, too. Eh. I mean, if, I, if you're friends of mine, and if I know you from the future, and wow, I'm actually being very accepting of people coming from the future. Future. Um, yeah, I think you guys are cool. It wouldn't be with anyone else. That's for sure. Ar Ar Arden. The uh, red text starts becoming a bit more pronounced on another wall. Question. Uh, Arden turns away from it and stares at Desi. Yes? Hey, I'm sorry, guys, but you cut out before, and I was having a really bad connection when you started talking to me, and I missed all of it. Oh. And I, I, I was like, fuck, this is important! <laughs> you were looking at the child, and he saw that, you told him you were sad, he was like, I don't think you're that bad. I don't think I would make friends that are from the, in the future that would ever harm me. At least, not without good reason. Sometimes people hurt each other but it's not always their fault sometimes there are things outside of our control that make us look bad 
but we're not actually bad people. And sometimes people make mistakes, and there are a lot of bad people out there. And they'll do really, really weird stuff just to show you that they're bad people. But don't, like... I'm really sorry you're here, but you're going to get to that school and you're going to excel. And we're, I'm already, we're all proud of you already, but. I just smiles and Desi speaks up and trying to get his attention. He says, you're smarter than that. Come on. Just think wow. they're the problem. And he turns and looks at Desi. Yeah. After ignoring the extra red text that's now showing on the opposite wall by the door. Oh, okay. what, what, does, what does all the red text say? Confront who you are. Okay. Oh, Except dear. this text isn't written in common. Oh. Oh. What language? Oh. I know everything. That depends on those of you who are still wearing the Babelfish earrings. I have it magically. I have it. Wait, it works on text? It doesn't okay. work on text. Mine does. No, it does. I believe I could read. No, I don't have the Babelfish. It's just an innate ability I got from the Lich. So it's you. It looks like common read. no matter what it is. Exactly. Oh. What did it say? So, so that's it, towards it me. It says the same thing. It says in no matter in what uh, language for Koa, it would always look in quote unquote Tainabu in common. Mm -mm. Okay. For the know. rest of you. The text looks weird, like it's accented. Can I do uh, investigation? Yes. Wait. Can I have the ball? That's a 21. No. No. You look at it, and squinting very carefully, you see it start to change. It starts with a line through the entire sentence structure. And then those... Uh, that from there it becomes something completely unreadable. Perserpi, you've seen this before. Roll history. Okay. At advantage. Uh, ooh. Okay. Where are we? Ollie, stop that doggo aggroing. Come on. Ooh. Oh, that's slow. Oh, come on. Yeah, I know I have a card for this. Hold on. You have a card, bro. <laughs> uh, I got cards. I got cards. Hold on. Wow. I, I have dog Arden, oh, um, Arden, before we continue, I need you to get rid of the two cards that you gave me because those were for me to play for Naya. Oh, right. And yoink oh, and yoink. Gimme. Yep. Yeah. Well, I've only known you for about five, He's three day, right. good days. To be and quite honest. Yours. Oh, thank you. Okay, my cards are just to roll at advantage. Ah. Uh, or draw an inspiration card uh, to immediately discard an inspiration card. Oh, um, can I discard one? I also I remind y'all, you have something called guidance. We do. Yeah, but my roll was shit. <laughs> Who's, who has guidance? Serpia and Naya. Damn. Oh, yeah, yes. Only four. It's, yeah, you uh, gotta wait. sprinkle it on yourself like it's... God, it's a cantrip, remember, Saint Guidance Day. Can we both do it? Hmm? Oh, and Berserpi, yes, you can also use Flash of Genius. So oh, if I give shit. you... I'll, I'll give you Guidance. Okay. So, Naya, oh. give me a d4. Ooh, not bad. Ooh, add so three. That's a knife. It's a 13. That's enough. That's enough? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Naya, through guidance, just goes, another memory, which jogs your memory, Naya. It's Phyrexian script. Oh, that's not good. This is Phyrexian. What? Have they been... Oh, well, so... Proserpia. I'm sorry. Yeah, Proserpia was the one that experienced that memory. So, Proserpia, oh, okay. the script you're seeing is Phyrexian. Naya was the one who gave, jogged it by using the magic to see essentially another, like a flash of another memory. Okay. Um, I would absolutely relay that to the party. 
Well, um, um can I can I have a moment to to speak with Arden before you continue? Well, Did she's investigating us? this. I I take ball. So, Desi, what were you gonna say to Arden? It's like, um. <laughs> now we're gonna say you're. I mean, Perseverance, we're gonna say you're a bit stunned at the rele- relevation, okay. revelation, so that Desi can say what he needs to say. Sounds good. Arden, being put under a gears is not your fault. I get put under a gears? Weird. Yeah. Yeah. What? What is a gears? He like he reaches under the thing and pulls up like this tome of explained spells. G G G G G G G G G G up too far. It's a spell that G someone controls you. No G E no G C no. G E A S. Can I look over his shoulder? Arden, please put the book down and just listen. I I look at the book. It's a very (laughs) painful spell if you try to fight it. But it it's not happening to me now. See? No, no. I'm not being controlled at all. Arden, when you get big and older and you're an adult, you're gonna need certain tools to help you fight evil. We right. are trying to impart that knowledge on you. I'm... I know you're really young, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Why Sorry. do I, I have to fight up. evil? Why can't I just be fun? You will be fun fighting evil, and it's going to be awesome because you're going to. And I kind of just trail off a little bit, like starry eyed, like you're going to blow things up, and it's going to be awesome. I I stare at the wall. The words. I get I... up from the bed and stare at the words. I tell everyone in Sylvan, it's a memory, not the past. It doesn't mean we shouldn't console. He's small! Leave me alone! Do you guys read this? Like... Oh no, oh no, console him. Just talk of the future. You know, Is like, don't help? guard don't guard against the future. I'm going to touch the wall. The script. It is cool to the touch. The script itself is wet and made of blood. Ew. In yep. common, I say, hey, Arden, um, do you know what language this is in the raspberry? No. <laughs> like, he. He doesn't even turn his head. That is what he says. You guys Wait. don't know what it says? I can read it. Can you read it? Yeah. No, no, no. It, oh. Arden. Arden. Can you read the script? I don't need to. It's bad script. It's bad jelly. When you... How'd you learn it was bad jelly? It, I just... I don't want to. I look at Arden. He I like, covers his ears. I don't want to. I, I I put my hands on Arden's shoulder. Why can I only read it? What? Oh, no, you're weird. What do you mean? You're all blue and lizard-like. Well, I'm a kobold-ish thing. Uh, it's the eyes flash. Uh, yeah. You, you, you also shine. Yeah, I'm glowy. No, his hand touches your chest. Here. What? And I look down. <laughs> what do you mean shine? You're a weird one. I mean, like, it takes a minute. Sometimes. Oh, been since you were home. You mean... You don't remember. Home? Yeah, home. What do you... What do you mean? Where were you born? I... I... On the... Huh. On the ship? Was? 
our new he's done, he's done a lot of uh he's done a lot of nasty things to himself over the years. That was... Don't push him too hard. Was... Flashes of a warm hearth. Two lo- four loving parents. Each giving you each giving you a smile. As you reach up to them from the cracked egg case. You see like tears start rolling down Koa's face and you white like what? What was that? Why am I why am I crying? Uh Huh Who What? What was that? Hello? Blocked it out, man. <laughs> no, I... I didn't... I didn't use spells until I reached the city. I wasn't an egg. I was born. I didn't get... I didn't... Don't block it out. I... I I'm put not my gonna, hand on I'm Koa's gonna... head, and I tell him to let it out. No, no, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I touch him even harder. I ruffle. No, I, I, I swat the hand away. I okay. walk back. You need to remember. Remember what? Your childhood. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to try to forget. I'm going to let I'm going to let it happen. Whatever is happening right now. <laughs> a female voice, soft and calm. About a year you feel the memory about a year after hatching. Come Koa. Come. Yeah, it's it. That's a good boy. One foot after the other, just like real kobolds do. I sit down. <laughs> like, I slump down. Did I... Did I erase that? Why would I do that? That's my mother. Why would I forget? We do things when we can't control them. But I... <laughs> I have control over my powers. Did I, you? Always? I, uh another memory flashes. This one not so nice. Who are you? The same voice says. Another I'm voice comes, Koa. Darling, that's our child. The Koa, are you all a flash of blue light? When did this child get into our home? Koa. You try to scream for your parents, but they, they say, Sorry, child, we don't know where your parents are. No, 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 Get out no, of the no, house. No, 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 no. You, you are no. dragged, and you are thrown out the door. But you never land on the ground. The world becomes a haze. Various t- temperatures and weathers. Blast in your face. Hot fire. Cold ice. The stench of death and the bright light and a bright light. And you land on an on a beach shore. I oh, I you just hear Koa just repeat his name just over and over again. I'm that's my name. I'm Nicola, why don't they remember? What happened? What am I? <laughs> Iron goes, I was just looking. See? Hurt. <laughs> we can't control what we are. And that's why I don't want to know. He covers his ears again. He pulls up the blanket over his head. You don't want to know what? I don't want to know. It wants me to stare in the mirror. I don't want to stare in the mirror anymore. 
What Good happens cat. when you stare in the mirror? I see myself. I hate it. It's you understandable. Know what I see? But... I don't want to do friend, it. Not to me. A friend once told me that it's possible to shatter the mirror with your mind, with the knowledge of who you are, with sheer greatness. If you don't want to do that, that's cool. You don't have to go to the school either. You can just, you know, sulk here. Play with your ball. I'm sure you'll figure out man on your own, but you won't figure out mana hydraulics. Look at this fucker being all sage. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's not how it works. That's not how this works. <laughs> like, that was totally you pulls awesome. it down, he's staring at you all angry, like, mm. I know that's not how it works, but you'll figure out mana hydraulics if you go to the school. I mean, I'm gonna go to the school. That's that's easy. The mirror's hard. The mirror is hard. You don't have to go to school to stare it down and break it. He like pouts. Comes off the bed and he turns. You see that he he's reaching for the blanket that's covering one of the uh, nightstands and the mirror associated. Like his hand is starting to shake violently as he grips it. Arden, he, can I look at it with you? Oh, that messed everything up. Out of I character. don't think you'll see the same thing. We can do this together. Will that make it feel? Will that? Will that help? He nods. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to die of a brain bleed. I know it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wait, wait. We should all do this together. No one should have to do this alone. Yeah. We got into this mess together. I think that might be the key to getting us out. I've only known you guys for like four days. It's been a week. You've only known yourself for one year. Uh. <laughs> I reached my hand out to Desi. Desi, we can do this. We can save our captain and all of ourselves. You're strong enough. Your kid enough, Desi. Arn, Arn looks <laughs> over and he's like, Desi? He puts out his hand. Will you come? Brother? Desi is muted. Desi yeah. has tears uh, coming down his, eye, down his face and Don't uh, making me cry, IRL. Damn it! I've been crying. <laughs> it, it, it lifts up his. He lifts up his face, and he just says, "Arden, where's the mirror?" Behind this, he's holding the towel with his other hand. All right. Let's look at it together. I can't. <laughs> I talk all about you. this all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking this with me. Sorry, it was my uh, my uh, high blood sugar. Sorry. You're good. Um, so, all of you reach and help pull the thing down. As you stare into the mirror. 
you'll just see yourselves standing in, in front behind a small five year old kitten of a Leonin. Whose eyes have gone? Who I, whose eyes are going bug nuts of colors? He's like, I see it. Oh, will it be? And he just screams. Oh. I quickly punches. put my hand on his shoulder. As you do, your your lurch forward as he punches and smashes the mirror. The golden light coming from it over his hand. As he goes, oh. for the first time, he blip. Oh shit! We're the still here. The room begins well. to shake and shatter. Oh. The walls are coming down. Just a memory, guys. Now we're gonna die for real. <laughs> yep, I'm ready to call death. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> as we left off, you were all now in a different room. Standing a standing a room that looks very much like an art in room. It was artifices everywhere. There's books splayed open. It is the quintessential of controlled chaos. Everything looks like it's supposed to be in its place, even though it looks like a total bloody mess. Must resist urge. The war drums are, are sounding outside. They're screaming, there's yelling. The sky is red. The city itself is screaming in fire. The door behind you bursts open to an Ajani with a very familiar golden sword stuck through his sternum. As he's falling forward, saying, Ah, oh, Den! Arden. And you can hear him clearly, despite him being on the opposite side of a window. And as the sound comes from everywhere. I was only ever born once. And that isn't me. I was created. One purpose. All to become one. But I'm not that. I will never be that. And honestly, if I'm going to be th something different than they want, then I'm going to show them just how much of a pissed off I am. His hand flashes as he le reaches up. You notice each one of his fingers, it's tipped in a various colored gem. Ruby, onyx, sapphire, topaz, and di Well, ruby, onyx, emerald. Emerald. Diamond and sapphire with an opal right there on the center. The metal leaking off as if as if alive and liquid. Ahead of you you notice a large version of what looks like to be the hedron in the room tumbling from the sky as if it were coming in, piercing through the heavens as a meteor. His uh. hand reaching up to it. It's a funny thing that one can do with magic. Especially when you don't bother with the rules. What? His hand reaches out. The, the All the gems flare. And all he says is, I wish. What? What just happened? Everything shatters around you. Existence itself becomes black, as if the, someone shattered the glass of literal fabric. Like, what you see shatters. Everybody else sees it shatters, like it was glass. And the room extends bigger. You find yourself outside on what can only presumably be considered a floating continent. In the background, you see that the sky is blue, and that huge hedron that was falling from the sky is stabbed into the ground. And you are outside, looking at a 
modest hut somewhere outside the city where a farm is being tilled. The sky, while blue, you notice at one point has what is a sun with many separate motes of light being streamed from it. But they're all going in one direction before they all combine into a singular red light that seems to cut the sky in half from horizon to crest. Not getting the visual. Wow. Um, imagine an aurora borealis, but it gets reduced to a singular red line that goes across the entire sky. Gotcha. Where? And it's in daylight. <clears throat> what is okay. it? Ugh. Do we just stand here? What is, what is going on? I think we have to chase Harden. Did he? Wait, what was he? He said, I wish, and did this happen? What was that? We don't know if he's Phyrexian Arden or not. <laughs> what? Uh, I need a drink after this. This is, this is a lot for a week. Does, does, he, does he just looks up again? Uh... Did you all already forget what I told you? Yep. Our, Most likely. Our Arden is not our Arden. <clears throat> He's not from our timeline. He's not from our existence. He somehow planes walked into a, our existence. There, we, we have two Ardens in our existence. We Outside have... of the hut pops the very same Arden that caused the destruction, looking as though he hasn't aged a day. He d he's not wearing the... Let me make this bigger for everyone else. Oh, of course I'm... Eh. <laughs> right. So he's not wearing the fur coat anymore, nor the goggles. But he seems to be wearing a very modest, like, shirt with pants, and he's got a hoe on his back. Damn. A farming hoe. Just to clarify, a farming hoe. That's what I thought I it was. What, what, did, what, what are you talking about, Arden? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Comfy, I know where your mind goes. <laughs> no, no, you don't. It's fine. Do, do, do you? It's comfy. Uh, <laughs> Go do, Arden, do you want to take that? Uh, I, 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 I hope you understand that you do have a farming tool stuck in your back. He, 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 like, he looks up. He looks like all of you, and he's confused. He's like, "Huh, life? Oh, that's weird." Yes. Well, yes. Huh? Actually. We keep meeting, don't we? Um, yes, we do. Who are you? Uh, we are your crew from the future. Well, I, I technically, I'm just, I met you like five days ago. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm your brother. He looks at all of you and he's like, you're supposed to be Desi. That I am. That one is Proserpia. A big elephant, I can only guess, is Ganesh. Pleased to meet you. Uh, that one's Naya. Mm -hmm. And the little one... He, little. he still looks down and then looks back up. Ah, uh, you're taller than you're supposed to be. Yeah, a lot Weird. of things happened. <laughs> and I don't know. It feels, it's, it's been a week and I haven't really processed any of this. Uh, what, uh, was the last, what was the last event before you all got here? Uh, uh, you, you tried to kill us with a fist. No, no, that's not what he meant. Arden, we were when, when you were five. You broke the mirror. It's when you first planes walked. 
I don't remember people being around when I was five. Y'all being around when I was five. But then again, I couldn't exactly see time then. Now could I? Probably. No, no. So, uh, which plane of existence is this? Lecto. Oh, so you still haven't left the Lecto yet. Lecto? Uh, more so Lecto left time. Well, okay, then. Uh, what timeline did you put Lecto in? None. Uh, more accurately, time didn't like getting touched. And it touched it, it you points... back. Here, let me show you. He... He turns and he points to the big sky. You see those lights going across the sky, all yeah. becoming that pinpoint red line yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, 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 can I do one better for you? It, it, this might actually help us all. Here, use my light pen. Deck. Okay. Primitive. Like he splits it apart immediately between two hands. Oh. Okay, so that's how it works. And then his hands clench and they. Come back together. Oh, of course, Arden's rules of artifice. Of course, of course. There, you had to happen. I have rules of artifice since when? Oh, yeah. yeah well, you <laughs> will. Was... You will have rules of artifice. Um, there are. It's your oh. less of a teenage shit. I mean, he looks uh, okay. Now, now get explaining, kid. You'll uh, you, you'll get that. Well, Ganesh, as you put it, I've been a teenage shit for at least thirty, I think, years. So I'm in my yeah. 40s now. Yeah, you'll grow out of it. <laughs> not likely, not here. So he, d he draws a line in the, in the thing. He goes, so I was born roughly... All right, so here's where the sun is. This is where the multiverses were created. And Oh, sun, verse, multiverse, time... Oh, no, time actually came before that. Like, he starts drawing various diagrams that loops and comes back to around to... Okay, okay. here's, here's Arden, how it goes. Arden, <laughs> we, we don't need the, uh, the, the Artificer 301 version. I need you to, to explain it like you are explaining it to your five-year-old self. You know, the short, 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 short version. Oh, yeah. Um, well, you see where that red line begins? <laughs> I'm yeah. about I'm about two inches behind that from where from when I blew up the entirety of existence. What? Uh Arden, how many times have you done that? Just the once. Why'd you do it? Um no 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 uh, uh, before before you answered that. Uh, Desi walks over to Arden, takes the light pen. As your brother, it is my duty to, and then just smacks him on the back of the head. It's like, oh, you, look, I had no other choice. Look, 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 uh, mm. he's, it was he's answering my question, Desi. <laughs> <laughs> you have plenty of choices. You can see all possibilities. Yes, and all of them end in that, he points at the red line. Oh. Uh, continue. Can we make it blue? Nope. Hmm. Uh, you have us by your side. Well, step one, trust me, you don't want to look too closely at what's going on there. It's I not look pretty. very closely. How? I, look, I don't know. I make binoculars with my fists. You... <laughs> It's still too far away for you to see. I know, but I'm doing it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I see goes, a red line. I'm assuming all of you know what phyrexia is, then. Um, Slightly. Yeah. See, I, I have a I only, general notion. I only know because you and I share memories. Okay. So, <sighs> if you look, squint, even, like, you. Oh, hold up. He goes back in to his hut. Like, give me a moment. Nah, pulls out, comes out with a telescope. Ooh. And he, and he sets it up. He puts it up, pulls it up. Arden. All right. Arden. And 
There. Look through that. I look through that. What you see is a large, and I mean extensively large, mechanical machine shaped in a spiral. Ugh. Mm-hmm. In- inside that spiral, you see various lines hitting timelines, bouncing off them, and forcing them down a singular path. The further along on the spiral you look, the more red-tinted and, well, mechanical it starts to look. Oh. At the end, you notice that it's all wrapped in flesh. Oh. Pardon? Could you explain to us what we're looking at? Well, the first me did that. Uh, Arden, are you telling me that you are from, that you are the Arden from when Phyrexia won? Nope. He won? Are no, they just no, invading? No, no. You don't, no, you Phyrexia don't, can't win in a timeline that got destroyed. Are you trying to destroy the timeline? No, he already destroyed his timeline is what he's trying to say. But all of them is what I'm trying to ask. <sighs> I mean, if I could, I would have already. Okay. I'm, 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 garden. I'm, I put nothing past. I'm gonna <laughs> ask you not to do that, please. I, I point I mean, the telescope to, to Arden. I repeat. <laughs> and look. If I could, I would have. Time doesn't like to be touched. Even the e- even the eddies don't want me. You know like those him. little the little branches off of the off of the main time streams that seem to stop. Oh, stop! Yeah, there are other mages out there that did what I did. Oh, I can do time things slightly. Um, whatever yeah. I remember. Uh, what did you do? This and I blip again. Hey, what I was talking to Arden. <laughs> I was talking to Arden. Yep. I- does it continue? Continue. Arden. Hmm. What number are you in the line of Arden's at this point? Mm-hmm. You, you see, and he stares at the timeline. He goes, there's no real count considering that all of time is being warped into a Phyrexian end. So you have literally yeeted your plane outside of time. Well, that wasn't my intent, but yes. Arden. So is this timeline... This is not a timeline. Phyrexian... Well, it's a time eddy with a Phyrexian invasion that's doable? No. Oh. Time will always end with Phyrexia winning and all becoming one. With that machine still in play. Oh. Which machine? He points to the telescope. By all means, have a look. Okay. I see what? So, imagine you can zoom into pretty much a big time, big uh, machine that looks like a drill so to speak, with all the insides of the drill cut out, just the outer rings of the drill. And each one of those uh, spirals on there seems to inject something that causes the timelines to compress. And at the end of it, it becomes one single light that looks like it's being wrapped in a constant swirl of flesh. Arden, what if we hit it with a prism? I mean, by all means, give it a shot. By the way, Koa, your spell literally never happened. So did I? So I can do this. What? No. Well, I can't do it apparently. Oh well. Okay. What are mana I doesn't now? work in a location where mana doesn't exist, little friend. Oh. Huh? So, okay. So, uh, what have you tried? Um, okay, go for it, babe. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. 
Um, prism, prism on the light all fixing on the Phyrexia point. If we can hit it up with the prism, we can split that light up into its color components, the rainbow components, and maybe we can separate this shit out and get it all done and over for at least, you know, a day or two. I'm talking about something that needs a lot more power than we can muster. Okay, you... where's this light coming? Because I've got crystals in my bag and I've got are tools we to in a... right now with. Are we in a memory? I think you can die in these, so I take them particularly seriously. Arden does a point to the does a point to the cobalt. Yes. If this is a memory and you all are a part of it, then aren't you shouldn't you be more worried about what's happening outside my memories? I am. I am yeah. Too, but we don't know how to get out of here. How do we progress? Oh, I mean let the memory progress as it's supposed to go, I guess. Alright. We keep hitting you at different ages. Oh, yeah. It, it, clearly, whatever happened to me is pretty messed up. Well, what was the most messed up part? Oh, I mean, I did literally blow up timelines, so I don't know something worse than that. Uh, Ar- Arden, it's hard for me to process worse than yep. destroying timelines. Yes, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need I need you to come here. I'm gonna starfish on the floor. I guess we'll wait. <sighs> okay. All right. I need you to focus. I uh, sure. For just a moment. You have three ducks. That what? One duck. Can I have two? Two ducks. Stop, Koa. <laughs> why, why are you giving me ducks? I'm trying to talk to you. And I'm telling you that telling the one planeswalker with a literal inability to pay attention to anything to pay attention is really hard. <laughs> okay, so Desi puts both hands on each a hand on each side of Arden's face, squishing it just a little and like I'm only going to, I need you to focus on me for just a moment. Okay. Your body is under a gears in the future. I feel okay. like we are in your head, but I need you to tell me, are we in your head? His eyes flash and he's looking at you and he's like, eh, well, you all do seem to be a various mixture of blue and black, so yes. Uh, uh, you do realize all of you are made up of mana, right? This is. Yep. We're inside. Point. We're inside Arden's head, everyone. I thought we could surmise that from no. the pass of two memories. No, no. I mean, we're really inside Arden's. Arden put us inside himself. Right. Doubt I have the ability to do that. I'm not a mind mage. I'm a mind Although, mage. That's okay. Blue, you, you probably. Blue is very easy to work. Yes. Arden, is there you get a mage? lot smarter in the future. Yeah, you do. Yeah. And you're smart yeah. now. He's a yeah, I've had 30 years to think about it. Yeah, wait till later. You'll be even smarter. It's pretty cool, yeah. actually. What was, yeah. the, what was the next thing you did after, after you know, stepping outside of existence? I don't know. I'm just going to end up uh, farming some carrots. You know, hopefully something works out and another me decides to do the same thing I did. But they probably patched that out. This thing. Uh, yeah, it... uh, you do realize I'm a Phyrexian construct, right? At this point, yeah. This you, know. or another you, or all of you? Is all of me. You? The original Arden, the original Arden, the only one literally born, mind you, uh, he didn't, he joined the Phyrexians the moment he looked in the mirror. 
Oh. He's the reason the spiral's there. All will be one. And he used himself to do it. Do you need to be rescued? Who did we? Who did Desi I mean, yell that? Need to be rescued. I mean, if I'm in the future, that means I'm probably trying to rescue you. I think right now. Well, I mean, maybe we can rescue each other. What? what? Mm. Arden, mm. Arden, I'm Arden, believing you, Arden. Arden, if you if you put us here, there's got to be a reason. Oh. What can? If your body is in a gears. Uh, let's let's fight it out. And Desi starts using the light pen to uh to put pretty, pretty much like and they're not really great drawings. They're look like literally like, <laughs> like kid little kid doodles of stick figures. Look, okay, look, look, look. I'm not great at the drawings, okay? And so he's like, Desi, what? R- roll knowledge, Arcana. Or roll arcana. Roll arcana. Sorry, I keep saying knowledge arcana because back in three five, it was known as a knowledge. Skill. I, kn- I know. Knowledge I know. check. <laughs> Can I cast guidance on what? Well, I'll, How? Uh, I, you can't I don't even have bend mana. That's, that's okay. Oh, I can, okay. I can. Nice. I can. I can. I can still use flash of genius though. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to use one of my flashes of genius if it if it if I need to. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, how about you explain while you're busy writing all that out? I'm going to go tend on the carrots. Okie dokies. Uh, you... Can I follow? Okay, hold on. And I'm you go- can. Okay. Uh, is that... Is that I high, follow. Uh, do I... Uh, you know what? I'm going to use the Flesh of Genius, which is a 4. So that'll be an 18 and a 20. So use which one, one you want. All right. We're going to go with the 20 in this case. <clears throat> and Preserpia, you rolling as well? Uh, For Arcana? Yep. Just straight up uh, Arcana. Yeah, sure. Just not a not a yep. save, just a straight up Arcana. Yeah. Ooh, I didn't 20 and 22. Okay. Oh, damn. So both of you are trying to explain the events that led you to meeting Arden in the time okay. in the various timelines. And Arden's like, huh. Hey, you, Desi. Yeah, yes. And you, Koa. Yep. Yeah. Your mind mate, yes? Correct. Desi, your you have part of my memories in you, yes? That is correct. Proserpia, you've got those gems. I've Can got I a bunch ones? of gems. Which ones? Uh, Give me the blue ones. Blue ones? Okay, those are the water crystals, right? Yeah, I have blue yes. ones as well. Yes. Uh, a pebble is good or bigger? Mm, let's make it about a fist. But a fist, uh, I guess I'll give you a large then, right? Yeah. Okay, I will take one off. And you have it. Those are the last relics of a dying sacred world. Don't it, chip it by accident. I mean, the world's about to die anyway. Might as well. I mean, I make no promises, and these things are the only mana I, I have access to here. So, I know. Uh, sorry, not Don't sorry. Chip it by accident. <laughs> looks over. He puts it in Koa's hand. He grabs Desi's hand. Desi's hand puts it there, and he takes a dagger out and stabs it. Whoa! Stabs well. it or Desi onto it. He stabs it. Okay. While all three of you are holding onto it. Okay. Oh. Well, yeah. Wait. What happens to me? Nothing. Oh. Okay. So Arden. Long story short, Koa, you pretty much get a long rundown of Arden's younger memories. Oh. Desi, you get a rundown of Arden's younger memories, some of which you already knew. Yeah. But some of the older memories you had, Arden br- literally briskly walks through. He goes, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Oh. Oh. That's a lot. <laughs> oh my god. You see the ins- you see an inception. Of where Arden got the idea of the legacy, opening up a book in a pocket dimension he found by accidentally messing with a bauble in some old mage's old mage Urza's desk, getting threatened by the old mage Urza's brother Mishra and his confidant Zansha. After telling them that he was an artificer, they and that he really despised Phyrexia, they allowed him to peruse 
the books, and one of the books was the diagram for the weather light. And the words you heard were, I can make it better. It's Unfortunately, at the same time as this there. memory plays through your minds, uh-huh. it bursts back into Arden and goes, well, that's going to be a feedback loop. Yeah. Ow. Still got it. You know we're at the end of time. If I throw you off, you literally won't exist. True. And I'm their only mind mage at the moment. Mm. But something strange happens. Right next to it, all you hear is... Desi, I need you to uh, do a Baja voice at this point. Boom. With the specific wish. Oh, oh, that one in that voice. Got it. Mm-hmm. Please, Arden, my Arden, if you can hear me, please come back. We still need you. At which point, a portal opens up next to Arden, leading to what looks like a Kaladeshian workshop. For since none of you have been to Kaladesh, it looks like a workshop with uh, artifice and airships and what have you, ornithopters, all lining the wall with spiring filigrees. Like, oh, I guess I'm taking over at that point. Oh, <laughs> do we follow? <laughs> Progression. We I definitely mean, follow. Let's all go. Okay. Let's all go at this point. <laughs> Here we go. Steps through. Yahoo! All of you who follow. Yeah, we all yes. we all follow. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna move Naya. <laughs> Close the door. But no, no, putting. Up. There you go. You're in. <laughs> to you. Yeah. You see a suddenly. A little bit older looking Arden. We'll give it roughly about a year or two. <clears throat> Who's now st- standing in the thing, and you see Ramsey. Oh, no. <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh huh. Uh huh. <clears throat> You're now standing on a landscape created of silver hexagonal plates. An older Arden is, is standing there, roughly about two years. Still not with a scarf, but he's definitely got his goggles on, and he's looking over. And he turns, and he sees you guys. He's like, hey, over here! Yeah. Well, it's about... You recognize us this time? Oh, I mean, you guys missed all the fun bits. So, Arden, Arden, are we on Mirrodin? Yeah, this is Mirrodin. Okay, um, so this place is gonna go to shit soon. Yeah, let's try to avoid the razor fields. I, I cried enough there already. I'm actually oh, looking for something. If you want to help me, yeah. are, are, I sure. are we looking for the mirror sphere? Kind of. We're looking for the mirror in general. They they're loose a little bastards. Um, and um, what, we're looking for ones that aren't succumbing to infection. Um, you mean like the little ones that I have with me? Maybe they can help. I mean, who knows? They might be able to connect to the connect to the matrix. So I hey. so so I so <laughs> so I um so I uh so I call out scanner and so scanner is this basically just think of like an adult uh middle finger that long that's how big he, he's like the tallest of all of them uh and so scanner comes out of the mirror sphere and uh it's just sitting on my shoulder looking at arden like it's about time why do you have mirror but not Colkin? the mirror constructs they're constructs yeah and they were built into the gauntlet yeah they're part of my ga- they're part of my gear okay y'all still have your gear Okay. Just on our just, companions. Just yeah. not living companions. Yeah, like my a lot of my on a lot of my devices and stuff like that. It's kind of like a little 
the mirror the mirror sphere it, the, just think of the mirror sphere gauntlet that i have is kind of like a tiny version of the legacy in a way tiny tiny because they also Arden, power it Arden just Arn walks over to the scanner he's like all right let's see here um may i uh, it like he's reaching up to scanner he, he does a little salute to you that uh, okay i'll take that as a yes um I don't know if you feel pain, but I'm gonna need to tinker in your brain a little bit. Uh, if you see, you see, you see him wave, wave his little arms, going at, like, "Whoa, stop!" <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Um. So, uh, I, both Berserker and I can speak their language. It's a special mirror sign language. I mean, I can gather, but um. Oh. We we can actually speak it, or you can probably have Ramses. Who's Ramses? The big rope. The, the not there big... yet. Not there yet. Not there no, yet. you mentioned him, or did you get, or you really got ahead of yourself? I really got ahead of myself. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> got, I got look of you. Sorry, DM got. Okay, DM, sorry, DM that threw me off. Skipped a, skipped a year or two. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, yeah. so we know their language, so if you want to tell us what you want to tell them, we can translate. I mean, how much do they know about Meriden? These guys, they know everything that, that you, that you, know, that you know, because they were from that mere sphere you plucked out of here. Uh, okay, so, uh, if you, if they know, hey, uh, Scanner, where... Was the uh, mere sphere? Um, he wants to know if you have a, if you have a pen and paper for him. Okay, like pen. It's the same like pen yeah. you gave him. <laughs> oh, why can't oh, why you can't it? <laughs> Arden just stab another doohickey and just we all catch him up with our memories again? Because uh, y'all don't know where the sphere is, but Scanner does. Yeah, but it doesn't work like that. It, it, do you it, want to waste the mana crystals? I would think that... I would think that with Time of the Essence, we should catch up this Arden as much as possible. Well, we're not, as trying, quickly as possible. We're not trying to catch up this Arden. We're trying to help him... Basically, at this point, instead of catching up with Arden, we need to help each Arden accomplish whatever it was that they were doing. So at this point, the easiest way is just roll with it. But then we just close the time loop and then we're dead at a, at a mana punch again. But we don't know that. This might get Arden back and out of the gears if we fix his memories. But you shot him. Oh. How, do, how, how are you suggesting we fix them? Wait, you shot me? Uh, okay, okay. What if we get to you're the under, You're under a geese in the future. I was trying to snap you out of it by trying to give you some pain. Because I mean, you were... Up, you were... You were, you, Arden, you were he, was under, he was under a great amount of stress. Which I mean, is why I'd like to proffer that we catch up your memories as quickly as possible. The thing is well, that if we keep doing that, we're going to be talking ourselves into circles with every single Arden. So I think well, the best idea is to just help each to repair the Arden's mind. It might be best to just help each Arden achieve their task. Arden goes, well, we did do that memory meld, and I do remember a small bit of... Oh, I don't know. Something about a war on a different yeah. world that was a city? Yes. Yep. What? Didn't that bard, the one, Hal, that's his name. Um, he's a bard? His, well, name, I mean, his name is How Flora. do you know Hal? I, Again, he points to us. Desi. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know it was the... Okay. All memories. Well, remember, he and I now have shared memories. Feedback loop. Yes. I forgot about the feedback loop. We, yeah. We're, yeah. we're both on a feedback loop at the moment. From what I get, that's still a bit of ways away. And he did mention he got this geese from a certain dragon. 
Yeah. And yeah. if I'm if I'm right, that dragon may be part of a certain war. Dragon. Over my head. Desi, you read the journals. Soraya Keen. I I know, I know. And Desi's like doesn't want to bring up the the the, the war of the spark. He does not want to bring back. We You're gotta gonna... do something. If you can find either the dragon or the only other person who, if I remember the memories correctly, has this geas on her. Oh, goodness. He, he waves his hands forward. Come on. I know Future Me wasn't dumb, dumb enough not to teach you all how to think think through things. Look, look, Arden, we, we, this is the same crew that you hired that, that made a hole in reality. So we're kind of a little... Yeah, Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, you did what? I, 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 mean, I, I mean, it was just a little hole, I mean, it only but went you... through several planes of existence, but... Day six, okay, no, no more big information like that, I still have to deal with a full week, can uh, we just move ahead? Well, I'm trying to help Arden regain his entire lifetime. Ah. While you've all been talking, Scanner's been there just drawing a map of yeah, no, he's of like, mirrors. It's, it's a map with equations so to give coordinates. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Hold on. <laughs> Arden, you were saying something about release Aegeus on a dragon or Soraya Keen? No, no, no Soraya no, 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 Keen getting... wrote journals, which Desi read. About right, the yeah, yeah. about I'm this thing called the, the War of the Spark. I, I, During yeah. the war, I'm trying to refresh my memory on the names on the two names because right now I'm I was only remembering Bolas, but I was not re I can't remember the name of the female character. Liliana so Vess. L L Liliana. Okay, Liliana Vess. Yes, and she mentioned the that that person was under Gius as well. That yeah. It seemed to describe the ones that I'm under. So yeah, no, so Arden. So let me let me just tell you what made what prompted me to shoot you in the belly. Um, wh while you were fighting the Gaius like Liliana did, um, you were almost in turning yourself to ash. Go figure. I was going against a really powerful Gaius, which normally requires three demons. Well, four. Three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four. It's weird. It, it tends to fluctuate depending on the timeline. Mm. He, like he's holding his fingers up. He's twitching his index finger back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then he stops. Yeah, four. Four demons, one one ugly dragon. But yes. So Nicole I'm guessing Bolas. the spell that he used... <laughs> yeah, and I'm guessing the spell that that Hal person used on me probably wasn't as strong as Bolas's. Nicol Bolas is an elder dragon. Mm-hmm. And Flora is a... A bald a, elf. A, a bald elf. A trickster. Ah. He's probably and not as old. Far. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there's the map. All right, well, I'll see you when the next memory happens, I guess. Okay. He takes the map as the world starts to bleed away. And then I put Scalpel away so that way he doesn't get uh, bled away. Uh -huh. <laughs> A hole in reality? Really? We'll, we'll talk about it when we're not in Arden's head anymore. Oh my god. I... It was A really week. cool. A week. A week. <laughs> <sighs> and if you don't, and if you want to make Look. it another week, you better stop asking questions. Look, Why can't you I, changed I need to how you questions. looked. You changed I your did, physical appearance I in still three need to days. <laughs> I need to process. I haven't processed that yet. We haven't you even find yourself. Like, yes, go ahead. You find yourself standing inside what is essentially a gigantic warehouse with the legacy a lot smaller than what you remember, Koa, oh. uh, looming, looming off. I remember as, this part. Are, are, are we, are we, are we in Faerun? You notice that a lot of the equipment looks very spirally? Oh, instead. we're, oh, we're in Kaladesh. 
A large minotaur with lightning between their horns seems to walk by, and a werebear wearing a red scarf as well, currently talking with each other. Their voice is a little bit mumbled. Oh, so from the feedback loop, this would be... Oh, wait, hold on. I, can, can I roll for knowledge? Because I know... Roll. I, I know, I think I figured it out, but I need to know if I know it. If that Roll makes history. Sense. Thank you, okay. Well, if I, I can remember Arden's history that got feedback looped into me. Mm-hmm. Uh, not, That's a nat 20! <laughs> yeah. Uh, Desi, you don't know how you remember this, but you remember this is Angus. right before the Legacy's first flight. And this is Angus. The werebear is named Angus. The, the uh, minotaur with him, the one with the lightning between his horns, is called Escalion. He happens to be from Theros. Uh, I, I I walk up to them and I say, I, I look, I know this is gonna sound weird, but Therosian to Therosian, you know, um I know who you two are. Can you tell me where Arden is? Escalion. Well if you know who we are, are you did you get hired by Arden as well? I mean, yes. And also, oh. um, not for another. Several... Doesn't matter. We're 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 yeah, hired. Yeah, also. we're 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 part of the crew. Yes, we are all crew members of the legacy. The god, huh. godly legacy. Escalon grabs you, Koa, yes. by the collar and lifts you up. I have put blood, sweat, and tears into fashioning part of that hull. Say it's gaudy again, as lightning is coming from his fingers, threatening to tickle your chin. Let's <laughs> get uh, uh, Just treat him like child that doesn't know better. It, 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 it's just no, you know... no, no. Treat him. Treat him like man he is. <laughs> Go ahead. Shock me. I still say it. Shock and murder. <sighs> the, the bear puts his puts a hand on a skeleton's shoulder, just shakes his head. If Arden hired them, you're not supposed to harm them. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know, a skeleton. I me, he pulls it close. Look, Mogus, curse your lineage, and throws you down. Uh, look, Another fall. Look, as a skeleton, as 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 my fa as my father would say. <laughs> He snorts. You'll find Arden at the front. He's waiting on okay. he's waiting on Dal to arrive for the for the test launch. Now, good question. Um how far are we from Theros? I, I don't know. I don't have a navigational map. Uh, uh okay. That Arden's is, the that... only one who could see between the planes, weirdo. Oh, only Arden can do that? Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Uh but by the way, uh G great to meet you both, Angus and Eskelon. I, I, and and uh, you see the goblin walk by. Yo, come, Eskelon, Angus, come on. We got a couple more nuts to. <laughs> we got a couple more bolts to tighten before our before the flight. No, okay. Um, I just they walk away. Wait, Eskelon, I just have one question. Hmm. How did you make this thing be completely smooth? Spit, grit, and a lot of polish. Gellion, um, suppose in the future there were a druid on board. Could there be one room with wood trim? <laughs> <laughs> this is a memory. He's like, I'll work on it after the flight. Thank you, uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, Desi stops everyone really quick. That's awesome. Desi stops everyone from getting on board. Uh, Are we not supposed to go on? I, no, no, do not get on. Do not get on. I need to tell you all something that Arden shared with me. From his memories. Okay. I need you all to understand. This is his 
well, that's his lover, the bear. Um, but his first, yeah. his first crew didn't make the, this, this, he lost his first crew. Oh. So, um, we, so are we, we still supposed to go to Arden still? We will get to Arden, but I want you to all know that we're essentially talking to ghosts of his past. Okay, I mean, it's, it's still in a memory, so I just, I'm, I'm just I'm gonna assume so. I'm just saying, be careful what you do. These people are special to him. So behind you, hear a door open, and you hear. Here and as you can see, the ship is pretty much built. We just need a pilot. And Arden's walking in with a young-looking elf girl, and doll. And over here's my first mate, Ramses. Um, he, his, part of his home actually built built the ship. Uh, Look, she's got like the widest eyes of ooh going on. Wait, that can't be Tana. Tell us, yeah, and I'm pretty sure she'll enjoy being on the first flight ever. Oh, Doll, boy. you didn't tell me you were gonna bring someone like her along. Well, I have perfectly, I have perfect clarity in your abilities, Arden. Mm, I don't know. Pull, pull side. You all are all hearing his words because, well, this is his memory. Yeah. As he's, <laughs> as he's holding, holding on to <laughs> Doll, and he's whispering. Look, I don't know if this is going to work with non-planeswalkers. I mean, you're literally about to kick the bucket in, well, according to your chronological clock, about an hour from now. So, uh... Are you this too? Doll. To doll. The to doll. Aetherborn that, that was on the show. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I don't know if she's going to make the trip. It's the blind eternity. It doesn't play nice with non-sparks. And you're literally about to die so i'm giving you the scene of a lifetime he's like well then you better hope it works mm. fine Arden. so what was your name Les? tana yep i was right that's tana <laughs> he turns and he sees all of you he's like oh uh are you all the other crew members yeah your yes, other crew yep. mm -hmm. Arden, okay. still feeling. Uh, okay. still, it's Arden, can I have just a little moment? Can I pull you away from Tana and Doll for just a moment? Fine, Tana, go up. Doll will explain the controls. Ramses, well, Ramses can't exactly speak. He he only speaks sign language. So we'll teach you that once uh, things come through. But he can hap happily bonk do Doll on the head if he gets something wrong. And she goes, sure. And they all walk away. He walks over. What are you doing here? You tell us. You brought us to this memory. I don't control where you end up. I just. Well, I don't know. Well, apparently we're you're now. still here having the feedback loop. So great. By the way, I recognized your partner. I don't know how, but I did. Yeah, he's wonderful, isn't he? Yeah, he's great. We have an, we had an amazing long relationship in your mind. <laughs> yeah, well, um, anyway, uh, you want to come aboard? I did build it. You ripped apart, ripped apart of Innistrad's moon myself. Yes, I know. I remember. Apparently my mind was there. <laughs> There's so many questions. Arden, this is for later. You're dying in our timeline. How the hell do we help you here and get the hell out of here? Oh. I mean, you're you're going through my timeline here, so and my memories. After all, they do say that when when someone's dying, their life the flashes before their eyes. Oh, please don't Give say it, that. That's what uh, I'm thinking. We're screwed. Let's hurry up. He's dying. We're, we're trying. <laughs> that's to, what I thought was going on. They don't take their five closest friends with them. It's Look, Martin. It's a, from what I remember, and I don't remember wow. a lot because it's been. Oh, you guys have been gone for about seven years now. Oh, so that's that's how much of a big of a blip has it been from memory to memory. Okay. Oh, well, boy. it took me 
It took me about four years, two years to repair Ramses, three years to understand the mana theory behind it, one year to figure out to even build the ship in the first place, and then two years to build the ship. And one entire year to finally uh, realize that, that you had feelings for Angus. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, Maiden Voyage, guess we go on board. I uh, guess yep. we're now going on board. I'm Yes, I already told them that this is your first crew. So they know. I'm trying to forget that bit. I know, but they need to know. Look, I'm trusting hey. you, because if I'm pretty sure what's about to happen next is going to happen next, you'll have your chance to figure out how to stop this Gius. Just, uh, you know, all right. live through the process. Okay, all right. Are you, are you, uh, is your heart okay? That I've had seven. I've had many years to come to terms with this. Yeah. Since that time in not time. Yes, I know. So weird. All right, let's. All right, let's rip this bandaid. If we're gonna do it now, we might as well go. He gets on top of on board the ship. All of you follow along. Tana's yeah. Tana's sitting there, as well, and just staring at. She's like, "Wow." Oh, Hey, kid, this place is really, uh, something, you know, because I know, right? I only had to, <laughs> only took me two years to build the darn thing. It, did, did Doll even stutter when he said the hull was made out of pure silver? Doll did not. Pure silver from the plain of Innistrad. The plain of, the what of what now? You'll find out. Anyway, be prepared to see a sky like no other. The warehouse doors open. The legacy pulls up and launches. It is a, it is to say, probably an extremely fast ship. And Arden has never driven it this fast with y'all aboard. Between his warehouse to pretty much the nearest city, it took about 30 minutes. Tana is the truck with jaw drop going, that's a two hour drive. Two-hour normal <laughs> drive, piloting. What the hell? He's like, I know, right? Wave to the pro. To uh, what are they called? Wave to the consulate because you're not gonna see him again. What? You fly by the consulate. You see a woman dressed in red, long black hair, looking at this silver ship that's just blazing right by her. As blip, the ship enters the blind eternities. Nice is just holding on. Nice is holding onto the rails, and she looks over with a smile and says, "You've been holding out on us, Arden." I throw up. I... <laughs> <laughs> Koa, you are now remembering the sensations of from your youth, the extent of the weird warpiness of the blind eternities, the touches of various different weathers and patterns and times and places and things. As the world becomes warped out, all of you suddenly become covered in a golden light. Same as Arden. Same as Exion. Same as Angus. And the goblin. Who, what way have yet to name? Gabo. Babo. Okay. Same Gabo as Babo. Gabo Ghoul. <laughs> and with that, you find that you're no longer on the ship. All of you, including Arden, Angus, Exion, and all of them, you'll land in various parts in on a city. A city currently in turmoil. A large number of people are screaming and running by as black skeletons are breaking into homes and pulling people oh. out. Their touch on, those, on some of those people are causing the people themselves to convulse and burst in the light, going into the skeleton, and the skeleton themselves bursting out as a an orb of light comes from their mouth and goes towards in the distance, what you see is a gigantic dragon on top of a mausoleum. Bolas! Arden's nowhere near you. Angus is nowhere near you. Skelon is nowhere near you. All of you find each other literally within seconds. Everyone with me. What? what is going Keep on? your weapons at the ready. Uh, Stay with me. 
We are... still have no pets, right? No. It's just nope. us. I'm, I'm with you, Darcy. Okay. Wep weapons at the ready. Naya. This is... This is that point. I don't see Soraya anywhere here. This is the word of the spark. We're seeing the war. I had it wrong. You were seeing various, like, black skeletons covered in some weird blue stone marching through the streets, grabbing anyone nearby. Ones that don't seem to just burst out in the light uh, are immediately stabbed and murdered in the street. Another person comes to try and defend them. He is grabbed. His, bo his body convulses, and he bursts in the light. Naya just ignites her sword. Don't see <laughs> Dot. Just keep your weapons at the ready, everyone. This may be a memory, but I don't know how... I don't know if it will affect us. You notice a jackal covered one, or at least one that was supposed to be a jackal. Its its head is skeletal. Oh. It turns and stares at you and rushes forward and goes right through you. Okay, we're and fine. And so we're not really here. I mean, it's a memory. Sometimes, and and and, Prosopia can tell you this. Sometimes, mem sometimes memories can hurt you. Yes. I believe we exist out of it. Well, at least we're... I, I think Arden is protecting us by keeping us more spectral-like. Well, we gotta keep it moving. No. I don't know how much time has passed outside. This is immediately after the... T this is still the memory of the first... of the first trip. This is what happened to his crew. You do also remember that Tana, Dahl, and Ramses weren't covered in golden light. Wait. Wait, no. They, no, 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 no. Die? No. No, 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 what? no. Arden, you can't be telling me this now. Um <laughs> uh, I want to I I want to roll to see if I'm right if to say what I want to say. Um mm -hmm. let me message you privately first though. Okay. Okay. The way I'm looking at this episode is it's a lore dump. And it is so. time to wreck and it is time to reconcile all the lore that hasn't made any sense for three years. Yep. There is no metagaming on lore, Desi. None. <laughs> just no, no. say it. No, the, for but, fuck's no, sake, no, no, just this, say it. This is it. I, I, I can't say it until Arden gives me the okay. <laughs> I, I really, no, seriously, this is. I ha, I, okay, fine. Because this has been something I've been dying to say for like the longest time for three seasons. <laughs> That's the beauty of this episode. Yeah. Yeah. We're here. <laughs> it's to reconcile all the metagaming you haven't done. <laughs> exactly. Which is a I lot. I, I I know. I love you, Desi. I I know the meta gaming is in your blood, but you can let it out now. Just say it. <laughs> let it, out, let it, out. Let it out. You can do it. It's okay. No, you got to understand. There are things that I know that that are for future things, and there are things that I I need to know if this is. If I'm still in, like, oh, it's okay to say this, or or I'm really flash forwarding to something that's gonna happen. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. That's what I wanted to make sure. Okay, okay. No, it's just basic. Okay, at this all right, point. back to back to Desi. All right, back to Desi. Um, I I I. Arden, you can't be serious. Are you saying that every one of those that were bathed in that gold light were planeswalkers? A what? Everyone that was bathed in gold light. Oh, I, I heard ended what you said. Up here. You want to know who ended up here in this 
in the War of the Spark. Do you know? Do you want to know what the War of the Spark was about? The a war, war the between war? everyone who has a spark. Was this? No. Like, again, big topics. Well, I, I don't I, know I what need, you're talking about. Let me. Well, if you let me speak. Go for it. The room is all yours. Well, the memory is all yours. It's the memory is all mine. <laughs> Technically, the memory is all Arvind. Yeah, I'm just te- translating. Well, the memory is all yours. I it's love that. Take a card. It's there. Oh, what? What? what are okay. So, basically, in the War of the Spark, planeswalkers were kidnapped from all over the multiverse so that Bolas could steal their sparks. That is a special kind of fucked up. Oh. That also, and wait, are- because... Wait. We were oh also God. bathed in gold light. We can... We might be planeswalkers. And from what, what's been told to Koa, I th- think Arden's been telling Koa that he's a planeswalker. We were told on Heroes we had sparks. N- no, we weren't told on her. On Heroist, we had the little pins that had color, that had colored um, things to them. We were told. Wait, Arden. Sorry, did you tell me earlier that I were, I remember the feeling that, from that show? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I remember, as in Koa remembers that feeling. Koa remembers the the same similar feeling that the ship was just going through, when he was a child. Wow. Oh. Yeah, so... Uh, wait. Okay. Keep going, I'm just... I'm, I start we, need to, we need to find Arden, because he's about to... He's about to panic and jump again. So... We need to find Arden and maybe... Or, or maybe Soraya, one of the two. They might be the key to the next step. Sorry. What? So we're going to start looking. I was look- just so- laughing. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought you said my name. No. <laughs> so we need to go find Saraya and, and Arden. Or, or Arden. Or the, you, you know. You want Pteranodons or, war, or, or war horses? Um, Let's go with the Pteranodons. Uh, an aerial view might be better. Pteranodons for everyone. Hey, so- if I shift it. Okay, continue. Wait. My- <laughs> I'll say it later. You do summon the pteranodons. It, it's a weird feeling because what comes out, they, they're they a little oddly colored compared to Tainabu. <laughs> very green, very uh, rocky. Ooh. As if they were being constructed by your mind. The process to do this took you a small bit longer than it should have. Mm-hmm. Like, instead of being, uh, what is it, a bonus action to cast that spell? It took, it took no, you more, it's it took more action. like 15 seconds this time, rather okay. than five. Whoa. Okay. Well, why are they jagged and green? Don't look a gift dino in the nostril. No. Just... As you say that, the pteranodon that's over, over Ko is like, snorf. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, okay. Well, pleasant to meet you, Snorf. Like, uh, please, Snorf. Snorf. That's what he said. He did a... Yeah. So his <laughs> name is Snorf. <laughs> as you end up, bubbles. as you end up beginning to fly, you notice that there are other mounted creatures. A a unicorn, not a unicorn, a Pegasus. A bunch of them, Pegasi flying through, one being mounted by a human of all people, wielding a black blade, diving straight for Bolas. Wow. Okay, well, we'll ignore that spectacle. Just keep looking out for Arden or Soraya. I keep watching the spectacle as they keep looking for Arden or Soraya. You don't see Arden anywhere, and, so, and I will need a perception check from everyone. Okay. For- Trying to spot Soraya. Well, it, well, mm-hmm. well, well, the only ones that know what Soraya look like would be us and not Koa. Right. So Koa can be I'm... distracted if, if they want to be. What you want to Koa, do? you are watching as that human is doing a valiant charge and getting bitch slapped to the ground. 
Wow. What a bitch. Soraya is the one that we met on, on her own. Team, yes. Like, Soraya Soraya team. The witch. Yeah. Yeah. Perception? Yeah, perception. How does Bolas look like? Big Ooh. dragon uh, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a circle above his head. Pull, that... pull, pull up Google. Search Bolas, God Emperor. I'll... I mean, I'll pull it from my memory page. I'll create <laughs> it in my head. Just look, 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 just look for Nicole. You just know Nicole that he Bolas. is one of MTG's prime antagonists. I am not getting what... Oh, no, he... oh he's so cute. Mm. Oh, God, why did you say cute? That Nicole Bolas is not cute. He's so cute. Head is incredibly flat. <laughs> I know, you can sit on it. <laughs> there, there you go. That's Nicole Bolas. No, I see it. I looked it up. Yeah. So cute. Yeah. Yeah. No. The, the, okay. the, the, Any, yeah the, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> go on, Arden. You were saying. 18, 21, 18, and 15. So, out of all of you, the one who has the most perception was Perserpia, who would be able to pick out a specific black witch's hat while flying really high. Well, I mean, oh my you, God. you know, it's got those skulls. She recognizes those, 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 those goth girl skulls anywhere. That's right. Ganesh wouldn't spot her directly. He would see her out of the corner of his eye, but he would also spot the spectacle of uh, Jace. Running into the middle thing, about to say something before a building literally explodes next to you. Wow. And of course, then Jace disappearing. Naya, having the same perception, would notice a Johnny within the crowds. Wait, there's and no way I could, like, flying squirrel her? You can. I'm just describing what everyone's seeing. Oh. And okay. Desi. You don't know many other people other than Johnny and Soraya, so you do notice Soraya and Johnny. At least as far as the planeswalkers go. Yeah. Let's let's let we, we, let's try and get them. Wait, what were we getting? I just saw a guy get bitch slapped. Well, let's get okay. You see the lion, the really beautiful lion dad over there, and the goth chick. That are being chased by those skeleton things. We, we might want to. Oh, give me perception. Okie dokies. Perception. And roll for ADHD. No, I'm just kidding. Four. Oh, I <laughs> did roll for ADHD. You did. Oh, no. You, did. you point out a guff chick to him the, and you say black. And he's like, no, she's purple. She's over there leading the army. Yeah. Uh, he's purple. That is an angsty lady. That Dang. is a ghost in like literally pointing the difference. Wait. <laughs> you just call Liliana angst. Wait. No, yeah, I would did. I would know Lily I would know Liliana. Because <laughs> from Arden's Liliana. Yeah, from Arden's memory, but it's just yeah. the wait a minute. What? <laughs> wait. She's purple and angsty. Wait, do please tell me you have another one of these lizard bird Beep. things. Yes. Can you get me another one? I need to go and talk to, try and see if I can talk to her. Pick the spare one above you. All right, I'll get on that one. Where? Make an athletics check. Oh, 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 yeah, sure. Uh, can it, can it be? Oh no, I do have athletics. Sorry, here we go. Or acrobatics, one of the two. Uh, not twenty. <laughs> I do a you back. I literally do a backflip. <laughs> I do an aerial backflip oh. and land on the back of the uh, of the one above us. That hey, Greg brilliant. Weissman, this is how you do an action scene. Oh my god! <laughs> Calling Wait, you we, out, you are, bitch. Are we, are we supposed to see it? Oh, are we supposed to see all this in the? All no, no, no! Scene. It's all it's in our head. It like uh, it's yes, theater of the okay. mind, theater of the mind. It's most, this it's your the map is to represent y'all still stuck in the mindscape. Okay. All right. I'm just so, walking around. Um. Well, okay, so, all right, Naya, and he, and he uh, Naya, I need you to come with me. And then he, uh, puts down his arm to, to uh, Perserpia and Ganesh, I need you both to try and talk to Saraya Keen. Um, Naya, come with me. Why don't me. we just abduct her on a Pteranodon? Well, 
You uh, do that. Totally, that totally, with, totally <laughs> with you on that one. Um, uh, he reaches down to uh, grab Naya's hand to pull her onto the one with him. Yep. Naya, she'll go, she'll, she... and or. Okay, acrobatics. And or athletics at advantage. At advantage. Uh, I... Oh, nice. Six. Good. <laughs> Desi, your grip held. Oh, good. <laughs> As you pull my up, both of you fly towards Liliana. Liliana, Liliana yeah. Oh, okay, I need initiative counters from everyone. Except okay. me. Why? Is, are we going into a fight? No. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Turn orders. Okay. All right. Wow, that is the worst I've ever seen Ganesh roll for initiative. And yet, I didn't click the right icon. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. Three years I away. was muted the entire time. <laughs> oh, no. What did you want to do, Cobalt? Oh, no. no. I didn't know what else it I mean, like, where's you're the memory? With Perser- well, you're with Perserpia and Ganesh. On a Pteranodon. On a Pteranodon. On a Pteranodon. Yep. I guess I'm just here for the ride at this point. I don't have much of a connection to here, but, like, it's up to you guys. I remember doing this, though. But, like, that's about it. <laughs> I love how Koa's just along for the ride. I'm along for the ride, because there's a lot of things going on in my head right now, and I Ganesh, don't know how time to process. Can you reroll so I can put on the appropriate initiative? Uh, I was a two. Yeah, I need you to actually reroll it so it shows up. On oh, the yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, actually, you were a. F- yeah, no, you were a five. Five point one six. Yeah, you were a five point one six. You're not a two. You're a ten. <laughs> ten. Fuck yeah. Oh. Heck yeah. And boom. Bolster your buddies. And good news is, what we're really doing is removing by whoever had the highest initiative out of the group. So, you know. No, no. So, oh, okay. So Naya and Proserpia, got it. Huh? Those are, because we're, we're on two, we're splitting the party into two groups. Okay. Yeah. In for the ride. All right. Naya and Dizzy. Since Dizzy is the one flying, I will have you roll the uh, animal handling. Oh, oh, great. The thing that I don't have. You do have it. It's just untrained. <laughs> I mean, I don't have it. I don't. I mean, I have it, but I, it's not uh, something I'm uh, adept with. So this is gonna be great. <laughs> this is gonna be great. All right. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow, that's double ones. D- 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just died. Oh. A little- <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's airborne. He died a lot. <laughs> Oh boy! Okay. Oh boy! Uh, we haven't done that before. I want. I want to re-roll. <laughs> I mean, you did technically roll that advantage already. I, I, well, the thing is, you that, did. So you were. I wasn't rolling on advantage. I mean, it's ticked on advantage. But you're spending. You're spending the card as a re-roll token. Yes. It. Yes. It is inspiration, so we'll use that roll yeah. from now on. Yeah. Flip. Thank you. All right. Reroll it, but not at advantage. Uh, yeah, you I need... roll a one. That'll be really funny. I'm gonna die. I... Oh my god, we're gonna die. <laughs> one, 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 just for fun. <sighs> just for con... Oh, oh okay. Goodness. <laughs> oh. Nice. <laughs> so since this was a dumb luck reroll, does it? You immediately <laughs> try to turn the thing, and the the creature just rolls its eyes, dive bombs, and catches you again. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I, I lean, I hell? lean, I lean, I lean into the to, 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 uh, to, into the creature, and I'm like, "So, um, you know how you, you my friend made you? Um, he can unmake you very easily." No. <laughs> wow! It just it literally turns upside down. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they're having fun up there. I suggest, I suggest you and I get on the same page. I like you, I really do. Don't, don't try and kill us. Naya, roll <laughs> animal handling. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, 
<laughs> Since you're both upside down right now. Oh, oh God. no. <laughs> um, hey guys, hey guys. Oh, it's okay. I've got t- I've got a plus ten. True, true, true. I'm go- I'm going to use. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm going to give Naya a flash of genius. A flash of genius. Flash, flash. Okay, Damn. so Desi just points to where you can pet it to calm it down, <laughs> and you you pretty much tell it to chill. It, it spins right back up and and, it, and makes a noise. Like bucks you to the front while Desi gets pushed to the back seat. <laughs> Desi, you are sitting on this pteranodon almost like I am, uh, like a uh, be- generic best friend in Final Fantasy sits on that bike. <laughs> on my knees, great. That's awesome. Yeah. On your knees. Yeah, my ankles well, are more like on, on the back on the back seat of the chocobo. Oh, gotcha. Okay, uh, on the two four one. <laughs> okay, got it. Okay. So. While you're all, so with that successful animal handling and dumb luck, you do make it closer to Liliana Bess. Now, what do I see her before she's fighting the Gears or after? Oh, she's a, she's before it. She's currently just, <laughs> go and attack. <laughs> like, she's doing her orders, but they're half-hearted. Yes. Like. Uh, she she's only doing the bare minimum to make it look like she's being a quote unquote general. She's not happy to be here at all. Okay, the blue stones are mind stones. Yep. I want to use one of my blue stones to try and send her a message in her head. Which one of you or Naya has sending? I have sending stones. Uh, technically, I do have sending because I've got moon song. You can ask Naya to do it, but Naya will have to stop focusing on piloting the pteranodon. All right. Uh, Damn. Hey, Naya, can you teach me how to do sending? <laughs> it's n- n- not really that easy. Catching <laughs> is now. You want to do this now? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Look, okay, and it- I will hold the reins from. I will hold the reins from here. Well, you stay up there because apparently he likes you. They like you being up there. Um, here's a blue stone. You see Liliana right there, the lady. Um, we need to talk to her in her head so that we don't give up that she's not really in the mood to doing what that asshole up there is telling her to do. We need to find okay. out from her if she knows how to break the gears. Tell me exactly what you want me to say. I just with that, said it. With that, we're going to pop to the other team. <laughs> so that Desi can, out of character, explain things. Quote, 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 so, quote, 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 Did it just flip over and then fall? What's going on up there? What are we doing? We're supposed to find someone? Just gonna look out for just look out for large boobs. Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah. No? No. Okay. <laughs> Do I see large booba in the in the in in the distance? Can I roll a booba check? <laughs> Large boobs and a witch's hat. Yeah, that's about right. Booba check, witchy you booba check. That one again, I swear. Can, can you yeah, can you roll for booba? Can I roll for booba? Let's roll see perception booba. for booba. No! I see no! all of booba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Net booba. Twenty on the booba check. I see it. Okay, give me a moment. I gotta remember all of the characters who had huge boobas in the book. <laughs> Bolus! I see his big booba! He does not have a big booba. Now he does! Well, I mean, he has big chest. He's a dragon. They don't have boobas. Well, again, now, okay, maybe... so he found he found Soraya on a nat 20. I literally a nat 20 found the one with booba and witch's hat. Saw another one that is a jester with with a decent sized rack, 
And then you have Liliana herself, who also has half my god, size. I can't believe I rolled a nat 20 nat objectifies the founder. I can't believe it. What the fuck? I point at the jester. Is that her? Yes, it's her. The okay. jester? The jester? Uh, no, no, the, oh. the one with the witch's hat. Oh, the witch's hat. So I take I take my um Karanadon and motion for the other three Pteranodons to follow me. Okay. Um, Since you're the one controlling them, what are they doing? Are they going to swoop down and just grab her by the talons? or uh, One's going to fly up nice to her while I, um, while I sweet talk her. Since she's, I assume, in a panic and has yeah. better she things to do yeah. than talk. Yeah, she's currently surrounded by dead corpses of the recently deceased, fighting off those those wonderful black skeletons you that are what, yeah. currently trying to grab at her. You might as well join her out and not and then talk. <laughs> Soraya, watch out! What? You uh, roll. <laughs> ha, give me. Just roll your strength check with advantage. Because strength I don't want to go I to was the giant on, I was thinking uh, I was going to uh, um, thorn whip her after she... Uh, <laughs> I was going to thorn whip her onto the, onto the thing. You have a trunk. No, don't hurt her. You have a trunk. Yeah, I have... Thorn whip does damage. You can't make it... Un... Don't you can't do make that. it unlethal. It's less lethal than what's going on around her. Oh this my is god. True. Oh my god. Here, well, I'm being held up. I will reach out my little arms and wrap them around her and we can go. Too little. We need 10 feet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> mission Wait. impossible this shit. Helicopter me. I will go down on a rope. I'm I giving you another D20 with that just so we can see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> You roll a, even if you have an advantage on this roll or disadvantage. You add a, you roll a, a third d twenty and choose okay. that one. Solidify your plans now. What is the plan so that the DM doesn't die of a f cough of laugh of laughter right now? <laughs> It'll hurt. It'll hurt. <laughs> Thorn whip. Let's go. No, we need to yoink her, <laughs> interrogate her. And then make it right. Holy shit, what do you mean interrogate her? The whole point was to save her. Oh, I could do that. <laughs> See, you get it. Okay, we need to yoink her. We need to <laughs> interrogate her. Interrogate her. And then... <laughs> really quick, and Adam, have... really quick. Well, they're just I was going to oh. apologize, Thorn yeah. Whipper, onto the Tyrannid. Uh, the, but the what spare if you We'll see what happens. She has a over. spark. It's a fucking cantrip. It's also a me memory, so we'll be fine. <laughs> I it. have very, very bad feelings about this. We fuck hey, everything hey, hey. that we love. Yeah. That's not our Don't character. Guys, wait, no, no. That's All not our right. character. That's not our I mean, character. Ganesh. They choose. They choose. Yeah. Ganesh, cast your phone whip. Do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 12 damage. Roll, so roll, 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 roll another d20 just for fun. <clears throat> as you could. Just just, a, just an extra d20. I just, just want to see yeah. what it was. Yeah. Slash R of 1d20. Uh, okay. Eh, still a pretty still. decent plus 10 to that. So still a 26. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go. So, She's there, fighting for her life. Next thing you know, she knows it's whip, digs into her skin. She's screaming, and immediately gets yanked up into the air, like. Hello, my beautiful. Wait, wait, Arden, Arden, your audio cut completely. No shit, yelling. I was screaming loudly. No, 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 we <laughs> couldn't hear anything you were talking. Yeah, the talking that, part that, was that, gone. Yeah, it uh, peaked, and we could, yeah, we could. Oh yeah. my goodness! Okay, one moment. <clears throat> so, from her perspective, now that I have okay, to talk calmly, were digging into yeah. her, okay, and that's they were digging her. Through. Yeah, she started screaming from the <laughs> immense pain, 
<laughs> as she gets yanked up into the air going, ah, 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 but higher pitch. Stay alive. Stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> to what is in her one, perspective one, a one completely hold on, hold invisible on. thing. Ooh. As she lands, your forms disseminate to her and she sees a loxodon, a gnome. Oh, wait, I'm a skeleton. And a freaky dragonborn skeleton thing. So we're interrogating her? (laughs) She is staring at you with the widest of eyes like, who the fuck are you? I slap her. Get a hold of yourself! Hello, my beautiful abductee. Uh, Names aren't important right now. You're safe. Um... We'll drop you off once we've explained everything. We're going to climb now, and we're going to look for another planeswalker named Arden. And I promise you, we'll heal you and explain if there's time. Okay? Okay. You could have, you know, just grabbed me. Or Didn't least have like the space. Five times- Normal size of a creature. <laughs> Didn't have the space. I'm really sorry. As she's dragged far away from her minions, you see they just collapse to the ground in dead heaps. Men, women, children. Didn't matter. They were corpses. Ugh. We now move to our other friend, other friends who, uh, top of the round, as you are sending the sending spell to Liliana. What do you say? Liliana? Yeah, whatever whatever Desi has told me to say, the exact words he yeah. wants said. Yeah. Alrighty. Liliana. We know that you're trying to figure out how to fight this Gius. And you really hate this dragon. Please. Do you know how to get out of the Gius? Hello? <laughs> she, she's like, well, killing the dragon would help for a start, as if you could. What? You feel a gush of air blast you both aside. As, oh, shit, as the dragon us. is staring directly at you. Oh, hi! Um, oh, that's not good. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Um, Liliana, it was great talking to you. We're, yeah. We're gonna go. Uh, As you fly away, like, for some reason, you're connected to the telepathic communication between Liliana and the dragon now. Oh, and we can like, now hear everything. Oh, great. Hey. So, well, it wouldn't be Desi, it'd be Naya. Yeah. Nice tapped in. She's wiretapped. Yeah. And he's like, so who is that Adrell? Another friend of yours? A shame that she's here. Oh, shut up, you dragon. I'm doing your dirty work. Keep at it. Uh, and you just feel like the attention shift towards you, Nia, and he goes, you're not a planeswalker. How do you know Liliana? No matter. I'll know my know what I need in time. And uh Naya, your uh, vision goes a bit black. Oh great, looks you like see, I'm piloting. Okay. You see, see Naya kind of slumped down a little bit in front of you, Desi, and she's like Yeah, no, no that's oh. why Desi yeah, Desi reacted by saying, Oh, and I'm piloting now. Okay. <laughs> and we'll get back to them. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Hey, uh Shucks. Uh, I need you to wake up, Naya. Hello? Can you guys hear me? Yep, yep. confirmed. Power went out. Oh, no. So the stream, was, you... the stream cut completely ended, and I can't restart it. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. So, yeah, the YouTube one is just done. Okay. Well, we're, uh, we're almost at time. We so we're almost at time. We can end anyway. Yeah. yeah. So we're just going to fast forward this a little bit then, real quick. 
No, just keep going. No, keep going. No, 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 DB no, no, literally, DB oh. literally is still recording. So yeah, I'm still going. recording. Yeah. Very well. Just DB, you are piloting. Not, um, do me a favor and just roll a wisdom save for sh shucks and giggles. Uh, yeah, no worries. Do, 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 do. Oh, she does go. Oh. Hoping that's enough. So in your head, you're completely uh, uh, aware as he is stripping you memory by memory. Oh, no. Can she fight back against it? Not really. Oh, shit. But you're aware of, the, of what he's doing, so he can't exactly erase anything. Ugh. But he goes, oh, I see. Can, can I roll a d100 and see what happens? By all means. A divine intervention? Oh, no. Divine intervention or... Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Divine <laughs> intervention inside of a memory. During the War of the Spark. During the That's War fun. of the Spark. If, yes. if she can, I totally want this to happen. Can, <laughs> if she yes. can feel... If she can feel him going through her head, she is going to try and switch on the goblin. No, no, it makes sense. No, no, no. It makes sense. It makes sense. I'm just... I'm here on. for this shit. I'm no, so have, you read, have you read War of the Spark? No. Okay, this is going to be fun for you then. Roll it. If it. Only if it works. No. Just roll it. Do it. No, I'm not <laughs> even close. Ahem. That's a hundred, I see. Did you roll an actual hundred? No. No, no. but I see a hundred. It's going to happen. Because just, just as that moment, you see... Uh, what was the name of that god? <laughs> Pardon me, DM's doing quick research. Yeah, ah, not, us, why didn't they get... not not us googling to give refresh our memories on War of the Spark. You, you see a giant Lazar blue rock covered crocodile god reach up behind Bolus and bite into him. Oh, well, that got intervened. He immediately leaves your mind and is screaming, and this is being heard by everyone. Oh, well, it, well, it didn't... I mean, it didn't work, but it kind of did. No, no, that worked. It's a, I consider that a win, Naya. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is that you did, uh, good job. And then he just pats you on the head. It's <laughs> just like, good job. Yeah. Now, stick the you just, please stick the no, I just wish No, I just whispers under her breath, stay out of my head. Desi, you are, you are, you can roll me a perception real quick. Perception. Please, please happen. Perception. God, of course it's wisdom. Nope. I don't see do nothing. You, Wait, what? No, do I want what? Do I what? Does anyone wish to spend a card to help Desi? Yep. Okay, place it on. Which one? <coughs> I'm considering this a reroll card. <coughs> oh, okay. Yeah, he's barking. Oh, Desi, yeah. reroll. Reroll perception. Oh, God, please, please, be, please happen. Uh, can I give him guidance, or is that not? Are we far away from him? No, you're all seeing, uh, seeing pretty much the god bite biting into uh, uh Okay, it Wait. is it is it is uh thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. I'm not going to spend is that more. Supposed to happen in this memory can we guidance. I can, can can I give him guidance, or is that not like? You can give him yeah. guidance. It's a bonus action. Okay, so, okay. so D4. As can I? No. So D, you're no, too, you're too far. You're too far. Too far, okay. So, oh, oh so 16. 16. Yeah, 16. Yeah. At this point, you are seeing Liliana being bathed in the golden light as she's starting to disintegrate, disintegrate from her geas being burned. Burning her. As the human male you saw flying the Pegasus earlier, the one with the sword... Grabs onto you and bays both of them in what is essentially a golden light, and he starts being affected by the spell. 
instead of her. Cool. What you see? You remember me? part in one of Arden's journals speaking about yeah, how he yeah. heard the story of Gideon Jira sacrificing himself to save Liliana's life as she defied uh, Bolas in sending the black god Bontu to pretty much strip him of his planeswalker spark. Hmm. As told by Jace. Which, as an as a side note from Arden, I think is a total fucking lie, but I can't prove it at this point point in time. Well, we can prove it. We're seeing it. <laughs> and that is where we will hold this for now. Hey there, rookies. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Flights of the Legacy. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe as it does help out the channel. To catch up on previous episodes on this series, please check out the playlist over here or to watch the previous episode by clicking over here. And remember that today's adventure may have ended, but your story continues. Until next time.